In charge of the general maintenance of over 40 locomotives at Evervale is Mr. William Player. The wheels of his engines claim his attention on very different lines in his spare time, for engines are Mr. Player's hobby, and it was two and a half years ago that he planned his most ambitious model. Detailed drawings for this model, based on his own ideas, were made by Mr. Player himself. Putting his drawings into practice was a rather noisy affair for the house, so his workshop in the garden was a handy retreat. But assembling the model is a much quieter affair, and this can be done in Mrs. Player's kitchen. All the controls are working parts, even to the steam gauge. The springing of the tender is identical with that on a full-sized engine. The brakes are steam-operated, and on the tender can be worked by hand. The pressure of this boiler has been tested up to 240 pounds, and the engine possesses enough power to pull the weight of six or seven adults, though there's not enough room to prove this in Mrs. Blair's kitchen. Mr. Player has made more than 20 models, and here's the first model he made in 1917. Almost everywhere you look in the house, you find evidence of Mr. Player's keen interest in his hobby. But wait a minute, here's something without railway connections, a home-built radio cabinet. What station would you like, Paddington or Euston?